Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is a short video, just an overview of what's happening. So yesterday I got the lower control arms in and then I hung the spindle. It's not in yet, but I just hung it from the ball joint on the top. And uh, I'll be installing the uh, QA1 shocks, but I needed to go to Harbor Freight. I got some uh, snap ring pliers, which I did not own. So I'm gonna do that, but let me show you what's going on in the front too. If I can, there's no rush on this, but you know how I made this bracket for the actuators? Well, the issue is that these hoses are now, they're just a little too tight. And this one, I can't even get connected. That That's the green one that's supposed to go over there and come over here. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is let me see if I can just get a free hand. Um, obviously, I've, the way I've got these hooked up, th these are going up farther than if I switch this to over here. So what I'm thinking about doing is just unscrewing these, you know, I'll disconnect the hoses and just switch the positions and make it so the hoses are going this way. <laughs> I'll see if that'll work. I don't know if that, that's gonna solve the problem, but I need, it, it needs to be like two inches closer so either these need to be lined up in the middle or maybe I can just switch them around and turn them around and solve that. But this is, it's just a little too tight. And like I said, this one, this one doesn't even, uh, this one, this green one, yeah, it just fell off over there. But this green one only comes to like right here. So I, I have to fix that. Uh, it's okay. It's part of the process. I didn't really, you know, have the hoses out when I was building this. I thought they would be long enough, but they're not really. So that's what's up. Check back with you later. All right, we're back. Um, it's a little bit later, so I just arranged them like this. Hopefully this works. Um, so of course this, this will be this way. And uh, my only concern is that since it'll be right in the middle, you know, I might be getting some of the hoses hitting up in here. But this area is okay, uh, um, as long as they're not crimping, uh, we should be okay. So I'm gonna put this back up and hook it up. Okay, so that's hooked up. Probably the way it should have been in the first place. But yeah, there's plenty of room over here to hook up the hoses. So that's what we're looking at. And I'm pretty sure this will be out of the way of the nose support, hopefully. And uh, there's still a track down the middle for the that nose support rod that goes there, but the bumper support goes on either side, so that should be should be fine. We'll see, but I think uh, these are above that anyway, so we'll find out. All right, you guys, we're in good shape. Very happy with this. Uh, just enough, you know, tension to keep everything tidy but um everything's got room no kinks no bends so from the top down it's white red yellow green and let me show you the the yellows come from the uh vacuum canister let me just show you those real quick and let's look at the other side as well uh but here's the here's the diagram if you want to take a screenshot of that so white, red, yellow, green. And then if you'll notice, um, I don't have this one. This is a uh, wiper, what is it called? Oh, headlamp washer hose. So I don't have that. So all of the hoses come up and then the yellows drop down. There's one that comes in here and the other one goes around and connects to the other actuator. So let's take a look at that. So you have through your, uh, through this pass wet passageway, you've got the two yellows. It's kind of hard to see, but there's, that's, that's a yellow, that's a yellow, and there's the white. And then I don't have these tied up yet, but let me come around to this side. So two yellows and a white, one yellow is coming here, and then it drops down inside there. The other one is pretty long, and that, that comes over here and that's gonna drop down and go on the other side, right? Also, the reds, I did put some clamps on them. 
I don't know if you have to do any clamping on the other end where the actuators are. I don't think so. Um, but that's that. And then up here, we've got the... Uh, now, the white is not hooked up yet. This goes into the, your switch inside. So that goes inside the cabin, inside the cab. Uh, and then this one is one of the yellows and it's hooked up to the vacuum. Actually, the, both the yellows are. This one has a T and it goes across to some, something else over there. I think the, it works with the maybe the wiper door, don't quote me on that. And the other yellow is hooked up there. So both yellows hooked up to your vacuum um, reserve tank here. And then there's still other things I need to hook up. So that's, that's not hooked up yet, but that's what, that's what I've got going so far. I went ahead and hooked them up in here. I, I don't know if that's right. It seems, it seems right to me, but I'll change it if it's not. Anyway, I think that, uh, that will wrap up the, uh, at least the front end, the headlight pop-up mechanisms. Um, thanks for being part of the journey. <laughs> All right, moving on.